I know that I've been sourcing a lot for consignment lately, but I did have a chance to pop into the bins a couple times last week. And so here's a haul of bins items that I will be listing on Poshmark to resell for profit. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica. I'm a part-time reseller based in Calgary, Alberta. I sell mostly on the Poshmark app on Poshmark US and Poshmark Canada. And like I said, today's haul or today's video is a bins haul video. I love the bins. If you know me, you know that I love the bins. Okay. It's like my favorite place to go to just relax and shop and look through the bins of garbage and just find the hidden gems that are waiting to be scooped up. The bins are literally the last place these items go before they go to the landfill or before they are shipped into like the ocean or wherever they go but it is so important to me to try and source at the bins as much as I can of course I mean everything in balance I do also obviously source at um traditional thrift stores but I do try and source a decent amount at the bins just because I don't know that's just how I roll it's super cheap my cost of goods at the bins is more or less a dollar per item, so you just can't go wrong, okay? I went to two bins last week. I will be doing a thrift with me video. Um, I'm just going to be adding another thrift with me into it to kind of make it a little bit more juicy because I had to leave really quick uh, to go to work. <laughs> I went to the bins when I was on call and they called me, <laughs> so I had to leave the bins and go to work, but... I mean, I think I did pretty good considering that I was there for just a couple hours. So, these are the items that I will be reselling myself. I do have a separate pile of items that will be going to the consignment stores, but here's what I have or that I'm keeping for myself. First things first, this was the first thing I spotted when I walked into the Goodwill bins. I mean, it's the cutest little bag ever. Like, it's so adorable. Um, it says dying scene novelty import in Hong Kong. It is, oh, I mean, I can't get over how adorable this is. Like the perfect summer bag, in my opinion. This would be good for Stampede too. Um, I'm getting some things over to the Facebook Marketplace that are kind of like Stampede vibes. I think this would just be so cute to like go out and just like have this little woven bag this I put on Instagram another like stampede find this skirt is it's everything I mean the glitter the beaded fringe is to die for this is just um top shop I obviously got this purely on style because it's a size six so I think that's a good like little mid-size I'm obsessed with the skirt. Next, I think this is for me. I haven't checked comps on it yet. Um, I know vintage a little L little LL Bean can do well, but I don't know about this. It's just a blue corduroy um button down shirt. So this is just for me to like lay over things, wear as a jacket. I gotta put that in the wash. I think I already did, but this one was an exciting find for me. I knew what this was immediately, immediately. And a lot of people missed it because the logo is just so teeny. Um, It does have some wear, like the, I don't know, there's like the pits are like a little bit discolored. But I mean, if this fits me, I'm going to keep it. There is no size dot on this that I can find. A lot of their newer items just don't have um, size dots. And it doesn't have the like, some of them will have like ridges here to figure out the size. This one doesn't. I haven't tried it on yet. It is blue. Let me turn my ring light down a little bit. <laughs> so it's a light blue. Um, and yeah, I'll be trying it on. If I like it, 
I'm keeping it. Next is this pair of Miss Me jeans. I have not sourced these in so long. It's hard for me to find them at a good price anymore because um, the thrifts have been pricing them up. These are size 26 and these pockets, okay, this is what you want to see in a pair of Miss Me jeans is like extravagant pockets like that and yeah, the front is like pretty plain but what you're looking for is pockets like this. I haven't sold them in a while so I didn't even bother checking comps. I don't know if they're, they are like they were a few years ago but we're gonna try and see what happens. These I think are for me. I haven't tried them on yet as an act of self-care but these are a pair of dynamite um, jeans. They're a size 31 so we'll see if they fit me. They're like a wide leg distressed jean. I don't have any jeans like this so if they fit they feel very rigid. I don't think they have any stretch in them which oh 75 oh 75% cotton and 25% organic cotton so they are 100% cotton which means no stretch at all. I'm kind of between a 31 32 right now but depends on the day so we'll see. I'll try them on if they don't fit I'll bring them to consignment. Next I saw this and I just knew that it was like astro or free people this like a little tag here and then I looked inside and I saw this tag and the RN is 66170 which is Urban Outfitters Astro Free People the brand tag was cut out but I just google lens this and it's Anthropology Intimates and it's like this cute little robe it's so soft it's so fluffy. It's like this adorable contrast. Um, it's got a belt. It's like Sherpa lined. So I'll be listing this. I don't need this. I have like five robes. I don't need another one. I just threw that in my keeping pile, but I'm not keeping it. This I might be keeping. I have to try it on. It is the most darling, adorable vintage cardigan I think I've ever seen probably it is so cute the buttons don't fit in the buttonholes <laughs> they are just for show apparently um but it is mandel bay size large and yeah it's just like this patchwork knit cardigan and i'm just i'm obsessed with it i don't know i just love it so much and it's heavy. Okay, something else I think I'm keeping. I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I got these at the Goodwill bins. This is a brand called Soul Sana. I had to look it up at the bins, but I don't know. They just looked quality to me. They just looked like, they just looked expensive. Once you've been like reselling for a while, like I didn't grow up with any expensive brands around. Like we shopped in the Sears catalog. Um, yeah, like I didn't, I'm not saying that like only resellers know fancy brands, but I only know fancy brands because I'm a reseller. So once you kind of know what you're looking for, like this to me just looked, this is almost like that quiet luxury brand, right? It's like unassuming, just like a very plain sandal, but like a very well-made staple, which I think is like kind of one of the hallmarks of like the quiet luxury anyway these retail i think i looked it up like 150 200 200 bucks they are size 40 i tried them on i think they do fit so we'll see do i need new sandals probably not but we'll see maybe i'll do a switcheroo in my closet keep one pair give those keep those or whatever anyway this i got for me i don't know if i'll be keeping it the brand is called Northern Climate. It's missing its hood. I don't know. Sometimes I just black out at the bins and I just get things. And then I get home and I'm like, but why? Okay, the zipper is like in very bad shape. But I just thought, honestly, I'm looking at it and it is cute. It's like a long, 
parka and it's got these like little embroidered flowers on them. And then it's like a little button. Well, it isn't like a button. It is a button. I don't know. I think it's cute. A long jacket is always really like needed during the winters here. So yeah. Next, this is for me to keep another vintage sweater. This is just like a short sleeve cable knit floral sweater. I tried it on and it fits me perfectly. It is so cute. This with like jeans or yeah, just adorable. The brand is Maggie, size large, made in Hong Kong. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I love this vibe. It's like so, I don't know. But would I dare to say coastal grandma? Maybe. This is another item I will be keeping until it sells. It is Patrons of Peace. And it's just like a really cute floral dress, a size large. It like ties up the bust and then it's got like two snaps down here. So it's not like all the way open, but it's also not all the way open. Very cute. I tried it on the other night and I loved it. My boyfriend loved it. It's a win. It's a win. This is a date night outfit, you know? Like, it's not super long either. I'm sure. I'm 5'4", so, like, maxi dresses on me just, like, drown me. They just drag. And this was, like, actually the perfect length. I can wear it with, like, a little heeled sandal. And I'm good to go for a night out. A little dinner situation. This is the last item I'm going to show you. So, this is scotch and soda. I don't know. This brand sometimes does okay, sometimes doesn't, but it's just like a crew neck sweatshirt and it's got this like embroidery on it. it says like summertime, rebel, everybody is all right. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. It needs a wash, but it's in good shape. It's in good condition. And it's a size one, which I'm assuming is like small, maybe? Maybe a medium? I don't even know. I'll have to measure it. But anyway, that's everything I got to keep or to sell on Poshmark at the bins in the last week. Like I said, I'm going back to the bins on Friday. It's only Monday. So I'll have to be patient and wait a few days before I can go back out there. But in the meantime, I'm photographing up a frenzy. I'm listing a frenzy. Okay? So... If you're in a shopping mood, make sure you check out my closet. Maybe there's something you're interested in. Um, otherwise, I will see you next time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I will leave you with this. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday, reseller related content. So if you're new to reselling or even if you're not, just come hang out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.